What's up guys, Aaron Productions here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Spectral Alert Classic. So, this is basically the classic version, as Fire Alarm enthusiasts like to call it, of the Spectral Alert Advance, which is basically the brother of this one. This is the older brother. It, this one is the new one. You can see they have the same kind of bubble strobe. Um... This one has like a different curvature and stuff, grills, but that's kind of usual on the device. But these are both multi candela. Um, you can buy this one in on like 15, 75, 110 versions, I think. And this one, I think all the Spectral Alerts are, um, Spectral Alert Advantages are multi candela. But this one's the MCW version. So. 110 it's set on and um, they have a different way of plugging in this is kind of like a little bit of a comparison and when you get on the back of this one as you can see there's terminals the terminals for this one are back on a plate that you put on the wall but both of them have a plate this plate comes off right here and you could buy a back box skirt for this one you can't buy one for that there's your candela selection. Um, this one has one on the inside, but it's not about the advanced today. Also, they both have like a locking mechanism on them. And um, this one has a knob, and this one has some um, jumpers. So that's it for that advance, because this video is about the classic. So starting off here, you can see that we have fire lighting on the top and on both sides. And it says, do not paint. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> it probably says, do not paint somewhere else. But it says, insert screwdriver. Sorry. And um, it comes with this little removal tool if you get it in new in box. It says, removal tool. And you just stick it in there. And it pops, pops down a little clip. And then you can pop it off the base. This you remove. Let's see? This just tells you what the wiring is. Okay. Um, here's the little candela selector right here. So you just look at it on the side. Seventy-five, one hundred and ten. So it has um, multiple candela settings, 15, 15, 75, 30, and um, 110, but it has 75 too. I kind of skipped it. Down here you can see the sticker and the model number, P1224MC, system sensor. And then mine is a little bit older, I think. Because, oh, with this one, I have jumpers. I'm sorry. It has dip switches. But here it has um, little tabs. I guess this is supposed to be the four-wire version. Usually it has little jumpers that go to the other wires. But this my my is terminals. Positive terminals. The strobe. There's the strobe. It has the little mirror design on it like all the advances do. I mean, all the spectral arts do. And then there's this little bubble. Uh, nobody knows what it's for. Maybe it's just like a bubble in the plastic. So to wire this up, you just put it on the terminals. And you flip the disc switches to your settings. It has a little chart up here. There you go. There you go. So, um, so now, um, what you would do is you would take your wires and then you would um, put this on the wall if you're mounting it and then you would put the bottom in because there's a little tab and then you would push it on and it's locked onto the wall and if you needed to remove it then you just go like that and then you remove it. Hey guys, so apparently um, something went wrong with my power supply and it would only like click once or something so we're just gonna use the panel 
So, um, let's pull it. It's on low volume. Just kind of doing a little weird code there. So, yeah. That's the Spectre Light Classic, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little quick video, kind of. And um, you guys should really get this alarm if you're collecting because it's a really good alarm. And I'd give it like a five, uh, well, pretty a four and a 4.5 on the how collector friendly and stuff it is but um because it kind of, sometimes these have problems that's why i'm kind of giving you a little beware because sometimes sellers sell these and they could have an internal damage in them and they're a little jippy they're a little um sometimes like if you watch system has of people with batteries in them they like skip code 3 and stuff like that so it's not like the best temporal co coding or whatever but it might be because of all the devices on the system but so if you're using batteries um, I recommend you get a panel if you get this because it might do a little bit of jittering if something's wrong with it because they are old but this one is new box so it's okay so yeah that's going to be it for this video guys Thank <laughs> you.